Hi guys, I'm back. So I'm gonna show you what I've done so far. And as you can see, yeah, the wefts are on. This is what I was telling you guys about. Once you get these wefts on, they don't go anywhere. And because the hot glue seals up so fast, you don't have to worry so much about them. So just, the only thing you have to do is just continue to go around the base of the head. Make sure when you're putting your knot on, that it touches the other knots. Make sure they touch each other. So that once you cut the wig, you got you basically have the, the actual knot is on the wig. Make sure it's on there. But always make sure you touch it to the next the knot that's already there. And just continue to do this all around this wig. And I promise you eventually it's gonna fill up. It's going to look like a wig, and all this is just going to disappear. Now, I've, now, the one thing I would warn you guys about is do not fill in the blank spaces on the, on the side. There's a reason why. It's because if you don't want this wig to look bulky and ridiculous sometimes, too big for the doll's head, yeah. Now, if you want it that way, you can... Um, glue some smaller wefts into that area if you want to cover it up or you just paint that area the color of the hair and well you know what happens to that it disappears in there but yeah so basically you just want to keep adding the wefts onto the doll's wig cap and it, as you had it um, as you add it please guys be careful with this because it does burn I know this because I have burned myself five times already. Oh boy. And it takes time. It takes patience to sit and actually do this. It doesn't matter what time you decide to do it, but I can promise you it's going to take time. But once you're done, I promise you, you will have the satisfaction of making a wig that you don't have to worry about anymore. You never have to worry about this wig becoming entangled. You, you don't have to worry about it getting dirty. Because this is yarn. Yarn can get dirty, but only if you drop it on the floor. And since I'm not planning on dropping this on the floor, yeah. Like I said, if you have like knots in your wig cap, just melt the remelt the glue and just push it in. Uh that's hot. I see spots that I haven't put any glue in. And guys, always make sure you put glue over the entire wig. Don't forget that. Always make sure. Like I say, make sure you go back every few when you when you're doing your doll wig to put glue where it belongs. So yes, guys, this is another just a, this is your other tutorial, and I'm gonna keep going with this one. This time I'm gonna keep talking to you guys as I go. I'll eventually stop when I when I feel I have enough. Because, unfortunately, I've already recorded eight minutes on this tape. On this, this, this one. So, I'm just going to keep doing this until I am completely done. Now, eventually, I'm going to get to the part. Now, when you get to the part, the part is a little more uh, complicated. Ow. Ow. See what I mean? I just put my hand in a whole thing of freaking hot glue. Good thing this is already melted. So, because if you actually have to add glue to it, it's okay. Just add the wefts into the glue. And it'll make it go a lot faster. But may wait till after you have made your um, wig, wig cap. Like I said, you're going to cut this anyway. So you, it doesn't really matter. You're really going to cut this. And as you go and you place this on this. Yeah, hold up, guys. Sorry. I keep seeing bugs. And it's pissing me off that they're even in here. So, yeah. But I just continue to work with this over and over again. So, eventually, it'll get to the point where it'll start filling up around the edges as you go. And the wig starts looking pretty good. 
and I like the way it's looking right now. And I cannot wait to see what it looks like once it's like completely done. And I don't have to worry about it anymore. But if I'm going to show you how far I have gotten. I've got the entire side on this side. And now I'm doing it on this side. And that's all the little bit I got left. I'm about in the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going until I complete this completely. 100% completely. So yay. Almost there guys. And I cannot wait to see what she looks like once she's out of this. Her mommy wrappings. At least that's what I call it. Her mommy wrappings. And you'll be like, oh my god, it's going to look good. Yeah, they do look good on them. These yarn wigs, because, and like I said, uh, you could use any kind of yarn. It doesn't really matter. You can, From thick on down, just know that when you use the thick yarns, you're going to have to decrease how many wefts you get. Since this is thin yarn, this, this these wefts are pretty big. So this is one of the reasons why they're covering so well. It's because the yarn is so thick. Now, I do have some that fell on the floor, and I'll get that up in a while. But, yeah. But right now, my biggest concern is just getting it around her head and making it stay put. Oh, God, I got glue all over my hand, guys. So, you're just going to keep doing this and keep doing this repeatedly over and over again until you get it finished. And once this is done, then you start with the thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shut you guys off. And I'm going to finish this little area. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you how to do the part. Until then, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So this is our last part of the tutorial. I'm going to show you how to do the top part of the webs. So what you do when it comes to her... Make sure she's turned towards you, and make sure you can find the front of the west, which is right here on the side. I'm sorry. And as you can see, the hair is pretty much coming out. So basically, this is the, like I said, this is the last video, guys. I'm afraid so, because I've got to get ready and relax and chill out, because i got to go grocery shopping in the morning. Now, I want a streak right here. So this black yarn, part of this black yarn is going to go down, and part of the blue is gone, and then I'm going to put the other in the back. So I have plenty of black yarn here, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull one of the wefts out, and I'm going to show you guys how to do this, how to do a streak as well as how to um, do the part. So basically, when you're doing the part, guys, you want to do this wig just like this. You want to glue it sideways. So sideways is the only way you can glue it. I, I haven't tried any other way, but you need to glue it sideways. So it'll so one side will go this way, one side will go this way. So as you're gluing it, it will fall the way you want it to. Like I like all hair when you do doll wigs, you have to fasten them a way in which the in which the hair can go, in which you want the hair to go. That goes for pigtails or not. But this, luckily, the beauty about this wig is that you can put it in pigtails. So as you can see, the black wefts go off to the left side. Now I'm going to try to do this in both ways. But right now, this, this side right here is going to be a streak. So let me go ahead and put the blue in, too. So the blue... It's going to go next to or across from here, from the black one. And you want to squeeze the two knots together. Once you squeeze them together, that closes out the that closes up the gap that's in the head, and it makes the hair look pretty good. You want to squeeze those two together from the one you just did. Squeeze them together and push it down. And there you go. You got the first start of your your wefts. And always make sure when you, like I said, up top, it always goes to the side. It always comes to the side. 
and let the end hang off on the side. And I promise you, eventually, you won't be able to see anything on here. So you just keep going until you basically fill this beauty up. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just going to keep going until I fill her up. And all of the top wefts go the same way. You do not change position. You keep them long and keep them against each other. And as you go, it'll form a part all the way down to the back part of her hair. And once that's done, you're pretty much clear from that moment on. So what do you guys say? I'm going to keep going. And if you guys, like I said, if you're going to make this, this is all, this is all it is to it. To all my yarn wigs, this is all it is to it. Place it on. Squeeze the knots together. Push them down. And you seal them on the head. And just keep going all the way back to the back. And as you get to the crown of the head, which is up at the top, all this is going to just shut, close up. And you won't be able to see anything in the back. So you'll be able to, it'll, it'll just hide itself. So you really don't have much to do when it comes down to doing these yarn wigs. So once you get through the perimeter, like I said, go around the complete perimeter. Then come back in and find a spot, find your doll's nose and make a split in the wig. And then just continue all the way down to the back of your doll. And you will continue to do this all the way up until you're finished. Ow, 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 hot, hot, hot. Oh, my God. Sometimes you got to, but there's an old saying, you suffer for your art, honey. <laughs> I have to tell myself that every time I burn myself or cut myself or stab myself. I suffer for my art. Oh, sorry, guys. I got, like, glue everywhere. Oh, my God, that hurts. Luckily, this is on the lower settings of my gun, on my gun, so I'm good to go. So, guys, I am going to call this video, this video series done. And I will see you guys again whenever I have a chance. And the next time, maybe we'll... Maybe one of you guys will show that you did the, you followed the steps in this doll painting video. So, yeah. So, other than that, like I said, and like I said, see, parts coming through. Like I said, just keep going all the way down. And I promise you, you will knock it out of the park every single time. So, until then, guys, I'm going to call this video, like I said, I'm going to call this video series done. And I will bring her the complete doll to you this Friday. If I either that or Saturday. I think I'll go Saturday. Because I still got a little bit more to do to her body, including putting her clothes. So until then, guys, I'm going to say peace out. Love you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys took something from them. Because this is the last time I'm doing this. This is a long series. But other than that, I love you guys. Peace out. Bye.